Hey guys, what's up? By Sepatron here from Clash of Clans Manual, here with another war recap video. And um, once again, I apologize for the audio issues. I'm uh, working to take care of that. Uh, but hopefully, the attacks that I'm going to show are going to make up for any of the uh, audio issues that take away from the video. So, hope you guys enjoy the attacks I'm going to show. It's going to be kind of a weird recap because this is the tryout clan for One Hive, so you can see. Um, everyone wants to attack the high up bases uh, to show their skills uh, because really three starring the bottom town hall nines uh, doesn't really uh, show any skill. Uh, so people are going for the top bases, leaving everything else. Uh, so the wars are going to look kind of weird. We're just going to focus on the attacks though because there were some really awesome ones. Starting with number 15, Thunder Thighs, uh, all the way up at number 2. A nice go ho here. Um, we'll fast forward. Drops a giant, just going to lure out the CC, a balloon, or two balloons and a dragon in it. So nice cheap lure. Goes ahead and drops the poison. I think he get yeah, everything's in there. Kind of a weird poison spot because it barely got that dragon. Uh, but gets the dragon, both those balloons go down. Uh, that new poison spell, obviously, uh, very effective. And uh, dragon loses about two-thirds of its health. And uh, you can see it still takes damage even after it loses that poison after it leaves the poison spell radius. Uh, dropping two golems, wizards creating the funnel. Uh, his queen will step up in a moment, or the, the wizard will get the dragon, it looks like. Uh, so easy uh, kill on the dragon, and then just the jump to let everything on in. Uh, his king takes out the queen. You can see two Teslas pop, but he'll get that as part of his kill squad push. And now just coming in with hogs on the right side here. Um, pretty obvious double giant bomb spots right by those expos. Uh, but the pathing on them isn't that good. Uh, so you can see they're going to trigger them one at a time as they make their way in right here. Uh, bomb's going off. Has another double Tesla, so a nice heal spell there. Keeping the hogs healed up. And uh, you can see the king not really doing much damage. Uh, level 16 king, especially under heal. Uh, not going to hurt the hogs too much. Uh, his queen still untouched. Uh, starting to do some work in the town hall. Has a big bunch of hogs left over. Uh, they'll take out these last few defenses. Hits a few spring traps. Uh, the one thing is this guy's spring trap placement actually was pretty solid, but not going to do a dent uh, in his hogs, and has plenty of wizards already starting to clean up. I uh, can go ahead and fast forward. Uh, queen still has the ability, goes ahead and takes out that clan castle, and the hogs will take out the king altar. King actually still alive for the end of the attack, uh, but gets the three star. Nice job to Thunder Thighs. Number two revved up. Um, I think he's advanced to one hive alpha or something. Uh, so nice job there. Um, people like bringing the Earthquake spell on these La Luna attacks. Uh, I, I don't know why exactly. I think a jump spell could have done the same job here. I guess it just, I don't know how to really articulate it, but the flow of the troops works a little bit better. Uh, so uses the Earthquake, it's a little bit more expensive, uh, but, you know, it gets the job done. You can see he's using both the Rage and the Heal on his kill squad. Uh, seeing that more lately, People using all their spells on the kill squad, taking out the queen, uh, usually two air defenses, but also a big chunk of the base, getting some expos, archer towers, um, I think I'll get a few teslas, and then a few wizard towers, so taking out a lot more than just a typical uh, shattered Laloon. So queen's going to step up, take that air defense, king about to go down on the top over there, but you can see already about half the defenses, maybe not quite, but... Uh, Close to half are taken out. Sorry about that notification. Uh, so you can see, starting with the balloons, all these defenses are just explode or exposed right to the balloon, so we can target each one. Just a few balloons for each. Doesn't have any spells, but that's okay. His balloons don't have much travel time. You can see they're starting to cut over the core. Uh, has one more balloon. The one thing I think about this attack is he probably could have been a little bit more patient in his balloons and dropped a few more on the backside. Uh, but it actually works out okay here because the Lava Hounds end up busting. Whereas if he had dropped some back-end balloons, uh, they might have taken out the air defense before it busted his hounds. So it works out nicely here. A nice attack to revved up. We'll fast forward real quick. Plenty of pops for cleanup. So I guess it kind of worked in his favor having those Lava Hounds take those extra damage uh, from that air defense. Last attack we're going to show, just a quick recap of three attacks. Uh, Snip, Alumni taking out their number four. Kind of an internet style base, not the best design. Three, that one hog was great. Got the giant bomb triggered and the CC lure. 
uh, you know, drop that poison. If you can, get that poison on the CC troops. Uh, before it wouldn't do much, but now takes all those balloons all the way down, uh, plus takes out uh, two-thirds of the dragon. Drop another hog, setting off that giant bomb. So it already has two bombs uh, triggered. I think the other two are inside the core. Going to go ahead and drop his golems nice and spread out. Uh, wizards backing it up, creating the funnel. Uh, you, you can kind of ignore the dragon uh, after you drop the poison on it because it's at pretty low health and the wizards will step up and take it out. The one thing I don't like about the wizard AI is they target that wall underneath the dragon when I think they really could reach the dragon if they shot over the wall. Yeah, you can see they're not even going into their base to take down the dragon, so kind of a weird thing on the AI. But uh, dragon goes down, king, queen, making their way up. The one golem uh, reroutes back on in, so it's going to do some tanking. And the queen, I think, goes back in. Oh no, she's going to go off to the side a little bit. But the king takes out the enemy heroes. That's all that matters. Now we can start with the hogs. Uh, still has those two giant bombs, uh, but they're not in the best spot, and he can place a heal over those. Uh, dropping his first two heals. Hog's kind of going off to the outside, uh, but they're going to come back into the core, I think, in just a bit. Um, or no, I think they actually do go all the way around this circle, so it's kind of a weird attack, but Hog's kind of do the full circle on the base. Um, they're under that heal, though. That, uh, that's good. Taking out that last air sweeper, now they're going to go back into the core. Has those skeletons beaten on them and all four of those point defense. So losing hogs very quickly. And you can see those giant bombs go off. Uh, the hogs are at, you know, one-fifth health or whatever. Uh, so it's, it's kind of a one-on-one -on -one with the skeletons. And the skeletons do take a few more of them out. But just had so many hogs uh, before those giant bombs went off that it actually was able to... The hogs, even with it, no health pretty much, were able to uh, swing down those expos. So it just kind of shows a uh, great push by the kill squad, but wasn't quite able to trigger those giant bombs like I think he hoped. And uh, the hogs didn't quite path in, but it happens, and, you know, it worked out here. So nice attack. Uh, looked like a good plan, just kind of went a little bit weird. Uh, but that happens, and you still get the three-star anyway. So that's going to be it for this war recap. Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, I'm working on the sound issues. I, it's, it's, I mean, I'm talking normal, but it sounds kind of weird when I listen to it. So I uh, hope you liked the video. I'm going to keep more coming uh, as best I can. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.